Hi, good day, Playmates. Uh, welcome to another Harmer Vida. It has been quite a while, but uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks uh, to all you subscribers and uh, anybody watching. I uh, hope you have a great 2023. Uh, it's early January. I am with uh, IL2 Sturmovic, and I'm having a look at Patrick Wilson's campaign generator. Uh, Patrick Wilson's generator has been out for quite a while. Uh, it's a fairly easy campaign generator to run and it's completely free. Uh, the only thing I find about it is it's a little bit cryptic as far as the GUI is concerned. That's mainly because it's run under Java. But anyway, apart from that, let's see what's happening. Um, on the left here is basically the setup. Look, I'm not going to go through all this because there are plenty of videos out he, out there covering Patrick Wilson's uh, generator. But anyway, my first campaign was creating uh, Normandy uh, with the Americans, mainly because I wanted to fly my new uh, P-38 line in which I, I recently bought over the last few days um, as it was on discount. I think I ended up paying just under $10 Australian. Uh, for the collector plane, so um, I fancied uh, flying a uh, twin engine fighter, so I bought it. Uh, so uh, here we go, and uh, immediately uh, we come on the squadron uh, roster. Uh, you can also create multiplayer campaigns, which you can put up on your own server as well, but anyway. Uh, here I am, uh, Second Lieutenant Asa Harmer. Uh, here's uh, I got a Purple Hearts for wounded, being wounded in the last mission. I actually thought that I was killed, but anyway, I wasn't. Uh, they managed to fish me out of the ch the English Channel. Uh, so um, let's go back and um, let's go into the mission and let's go to the journal. And uh, I joined the squadron, the 474th fighter group on the 1st of March. Um, I flew a recon mission uh, at 18,000 feet. Um, and uh, I actually flew it solo. Uh, it generated a solo mission for me and I flew from Headcon Aerodrome. Uh, it was successful. Um, the next mission uh, was a low uh, altitude patrol and was uh, flown by four of us uh, but poor visibility for most of the mission and a combination of low cloud base. Um, I actually lost the flight when uh, I engaged the uh, enemy. Uh, all this sort of narrative here you can actually uh, put in yourself, um, which is, is really good. It just gives it some nice flavor. Uh, so claims. Uh, and here we go. Here's the um, uh, here's the uh, 110 uh, from Z uh, Zestroyer Group 26 that um, I brought down. Uh, and then the next third mission uh, was an escort mission. And it was only th flown by two of us. Uh, and we were escorting A-20s. Uh, that's when, uh, unfortunately, I got uh, a an ME 110. I was on the receiving end of its um, armament configuration uh, and I was seriously wounded uh, and I uh, lost a P-38. Uh, I was invalided for 67 days. And so also uh, there's a, a squadron log as well and this is quite substantial uh, as you can see from here. Um, the uh, number of members that are being killed, captured, uh, wounded, so on and so forth. And so there's uh, a lot of stuff here. Uh, yeah, I got the Purple Heart on the 15th of March 1944. 
because uh, I was seriously wounded and I was out for all this time. The fighter group was moved to Holmesley South on the 3rd of May and uh, yeah that brings us up to the 23rd of May okay that about sums it up uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the cockpit of uh, the, the the lightning the P-38 okay uh, here I am in VR and in uh, IL-2 and it looks like the Christmas decorations are still up okay um, Patrick Wilson's uh, missions, well, his campaigns actually found in missions, and um, there's his folder, and as you can see, uh, that's the first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, the uh, one that I'm going to be flying uh, today is going to be the ground attack, uh, and as you can see uh, on the Normandy map, we're right on the uh, western part of it. Uh, we're going to be taking off flying over the uh, Isle of Wight and heading down uh, to the east of Cherbourg and um, yeah attack trains and rail facilities uh, I'm just going to go through my setup um, I'm not going to bother taking the Bendix radio compass uh, because the navigation's pretty easy anyway and I do know the Normandy map quite well okay well that's a bit unfortunate <laughs> it looks like I'm flight lead I'm just looking in the mirror and I can just see my wingman uh, okay so on pause this is Air Ripper and requesting takeoff clearance over Ripper nav lights uh, let me just Ripper check taking off out uh, then I've got full mixture and I think I'll put the lights on and I'll bring the map up size that so as we know what's happening so basically for the moment I'm going to be heading northeast okay all right so I'm just going to be yep that's going to be flying the runway heading Okay, all good to go. Gear up. River two. Airborne. This is Air. River. Airborne. Over. River. Proceed with your mission. Okay, and we'll start by reducing the RPMs to 2600. And then I'll just pull the mixture back to 70% okay and I will now and I'm going to turn my nav lights off and okay we're going to make a Turn to the right here. Over the Isle of Wight. Uh, 
about an inch, it's two and a half. Yeah, okay, I'm already up there. Okay, let's check it to see where that. Oh, yeah, Wingman's below me. Turn my radio up a little bit. Okay, weather looks pretty good. Early morning. A little bit off. Oh, not too bad yet. Yeah, a little bit off, of course. Turn another 10 degrees to 150. Uh, keep a weather eye out for the escorts. We're supposed to be escorted with some uh, Thunderbolts, some B-47s. Quite sure where the rendezvous is. The only thing I find about uh, the P-38 is unfortunately the um, airspeed indicator is actually uh, covered up by the control column. Uh, you sort of have to look over. There it is next to the turn and bank indicator on the left. That's a bit of a pain in the butt, but anyway. Clipping along quite nicely at uh, pushing 300 knots. And leaving the uh, shores of the Isle of Wight. Southwest.
bit. Yep, okay. A little bit far over. And it looks like there's a number of planes behind me. So it looks like our escort is linked up with us. That's what I'm hoping. Although I don't see him. Oh yes. Yep, they're high. It's good. I see them. Yep, excellent. Yeah, handy having the uh, the mirror, the rear view mirror. Otherwise, it's pretty hard craning your head, craning your head in VR. Although it is possible. Uh, you can sort of, um, yeah, sort of got a setup like this where I can actually see well behind. still up there Something happening up there with the with the escorts. Are those friendly or are those bogies? Looks like that. All right, I wanted. Looks like they're friendlies because they're they're heading south. Just gonna do a quick 180 because uh, I'm worried about what's behind me.
Does it sound good? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on with the mission. a nearby enemy air and drone. Ripper, control for ground targets on your own. Out. was over the target. It's a train, but it looks to be sort of stuck somewhere in space. I don't know. It's... Yeah, uh, definitely over the target. Looks as if it's been already done over. Everything looks pretty flattened. Okay, <laughs> uh, hit the treetop, and um, I was actually lucky to get out of that. Uh, okay, uh, I'd better switch everything down. Uh, 
and open the cockpit and escape right <laughs> oh god oh dear all right let's finish the mission okay uh i ditched so hopefully i can find the um the resistance and get back to uh get back to blighty yeah i didn't get anything at all um there was a locomotive there but it just seemed to be in an area that was totally flattened so i don't know let's have a look at the events log Right, I'm a bit confused by that, so I don't know what was happening there at all. Right, well, <laughs> after that disaster, uh, back at base, and let's do the combat report. So we had to at attack trains and rail facilities near maybe it wasn't actually where Saint Pierre Eglise was, but anyway I certainly didn't see anything there. Uh I'm not gonna claim any air to air victories at all. And I'm gonna submit that report. Okay, let's start the debrief. Uh, so we lost uh, one of the uh, P-47s. My wingman was brought down. So not a very good result at all. Uh, four of ours brought down uh, for one of, uh, one of the Luftwaffe. Wow, not good at all. And of course, uh, I crashed. <laughs> okay. Completed. So at this point, uh, I could go into the narrative and, uh, yeah, put some narrative in there sort of thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, fairly disastrous uh, mission but uh, I'm still alive uh, and hopefully uh, I'll be uh, back to uh, work with uh, Patrick Wilson's campaign in the near future in the meantime uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll catch you on the next one